What's up, everybody? Nostalgia Goggles 4-3 here. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We dispatched the Orlando Magic and Horace Grant. Took his goggles, though. And tonight we have the conference finals against the New York Knicks. Maybe you've heard of them. Whoa. Guess I leaned on the start button. Here we go. Actually, let me exit this first before we go in. There's a reason I always start on the menu. That's just to demonstrate there's no shenanigans or tomfoolery happening. Still a simulation level all-star. Just for posterity's sake. I know you all trust me. But people in the future on YouTube might not. Anyway, there we go. Toronto versus New York. Utah leads the Rockets. And as recent viewers know, we have been trying to chase a patron goal for some time. We want to get as many players as possible on the points of the game leaderboard. We have six. Going for seven. So, sorry, mailman. Coming for you. As a result, we are going to start the hero lineup from last night. Or one of the hero lineups. Uh, Damon Stoudemire came back in a big way. And this lineup just so happened to light up New York with an incredible plus-minus of... 44 in 8 minutes of game time during the regular season. So good we played them the entire game against the Knicks towards the end. So if we can do that, we're a shoe in for sure. We only need to make 6 more baskets than we did in the game last night. I had to get everyone there as long as they're the right baskets. And that, given how dreadfully we played in the first half last night, that seems very doable. But before we get started, Reminder, 10% of anything I might happen to make tonight goes to the Retina Foundation in Southwest. They're trying to cure macular degeneration, doing other such research into eye problems. I'd like to support them directly and check out the link in my Twitter file or in the YouTube description. Let's get going. We'll slow down. Never hurt anybody. A little more together tonight. I actually did four before we started. Cheers. Not together enough to have made lemonade. Uh, consider doing that. Wow, we actually have more scoring stars than they do. At a uh, three-star defense is a bit of a concern. Of course, the Knicks in the 90s were known for their tough defense. From, for example, that guy right there, Dark on Starks. The late great Anthony Mason. Charles Oakley and Patrick Ewing. Great iconic lineup. Of course, growing up in uh, New York State, I saw a lot of the next. Not as much as you would have thought. Our cable package had uh, MSG. I think it was MSG. But they didn't show Knicks games. They actually showed Nets games. Go figure. So that was the most easily accessible my dad, a Nets fan to this very day. Oh, man, we haven't lost a tip off in a while. Oh, uh, was that Damon? It might have been Damon. Thought it was Davis. Should not have taken that shot. However, that does bode well defensively. We're off to a good start. Come on. Take the shot, Knicks. Oof. Starks drains it. Davis doesn't fall. Alright. I'm not I'm gonna learn from last night's mistakes. Well, maybe I'm not. Murray, yes. It's hard, because we're playing really well defensively, but yeah. Nope. Plus 44 or not during the regular season. This lineup will not stand. Switch to Murdoch. Rest Perch. We gotta talk. 
All right, Spencer Grace. And I have to, can I congratulate you? <laughs> I can't tell my stream tonight. You serious? You all right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just watch wine about NFL 2K5. So, Spitz the Greatest, I had actually, I didn't have time. And, well, I might have had time, but I forgot. I was actually going to pull up uh, Spitz the Greatest and I talked earlier today. He has completed his franchise in NFL 2K5. He has retired. He is in the Hall of Fame. He's probably typing it from Canton right now from a uh, social distance, I'm sure. So, everybody, if you see him, congratulate Spitz the Greatest on this achievement. No, no, it was a forced retirement. That's the worst part. Yeah, so it's, uh, so I looked more closely at your, uh, your screenshot. So it looks like they only let you play 30 seasons. Hey, the guy didn't say three. Anyway, that's a little better. That last lineup, I've never seen a lineup play so well on defense and so terrible at offense. We had two steals and we knocked the ball away like three or four times. In a in a single uh, in a single minute of play. Who's that? Pink near Jones. Yeah, so thirty seasons seems like a good one. You just didn't know it could end. I'm sorry, it's the greatest. I know how important that game is to you. Oh, so the I oh, okay. So you, you you just thought that they went on indefinitely and that was how they were programmed. Well, I mean, this does give you a great uh, springboard for uh, your own Twitch stream. Oh, you were gearing up for the draft. Oh, that, that that hurts. So you were doing, like, prep work. You were scouting people and stuff. Fictional players who will never see the digital light of day. There we go. There it is. How many people make it to 30 years? Even the internet wasn't clear. Yeah, I thought that most of the modern franchise modes did 50. I would consider a 2K, 2K5 to be modern. Mug. Oh. Hey, all right. Nice. <laughs> sort of like you were a less genocidal club to run uncharted waters. <laughs> There's an analogy. That's okay. This lineup's been doing pretty well. We'll let him run. Foul or no foul. Gotta get whistles occasionally. <laughs> now you worry if your Saturn's internal clock will eventually run out of dates. That also seems a legitimate concern. Yeah, the Saturn, I actually think, seems possibly the most likely console to eventually be lost to history. Just from the way it works and everything. It's so hard to emulate compared to the other ones. And like anything before 5th gen, you know, we already have pretty well preserved, even today. So, and like... The N64 is part base, that thing's a tank, it'll go forever. PS1's pretty well emulated. Uh, PS2 is getting there. But.
Yeah, I think uh, being concerned about the future of the Saturn is definitely founded. Off to a much better start tonight. And we've got a lineup that has legs that has four of the seven players, so we need to score points in it. So that also bodes well. I actually hear that modern Saturn emulation hacking has come a long way. I guess it's now pretty affordable to mod your Saturn to run SD cards. Yeah, that's something I've wondered about, like optical drive emulation. Like, I am surprised at how low the compatibility is for, like, PS2 optical drive emulation. Because, you know, anything with moving parts is going to wear out, right? But, like, people are really accepting of it. And when I read about it, there's a lot of games that I want to play that have issues when you try to load it off of anything other than the system. Um, compare that with now, like, the GameCube solution. PS1 is the same deal. The uh, GameCube solution claims 100% compatibility, and I haven't read any reports to the contrary um, in internet searching, so it does definitely seem to vary. Whoa. Where is up to 15? Hmm. I'm talking modding a system. Like, um, for a PS2, you can change it to run uh, off of a USB stick. Um, the PS1 has an optical drive replacement um, that runs off the SD card, sort of drive it there with the Saturn. Muggsy Bogues with the steel, taking it all the way. That basket purchased for us by Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist. Patron at our buy buckets here. Thank you for your support. Muggsy again. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> I don't even know if that's Pinkney or Jones. I forget. They both have 54. Whoa. Way outside. Rustbrook. Nope. Sure. You're considering sending your Saturn up to be modded. You can get a fully translated version of all three Starting Force games on the Saturn. That could be a deal maker. I'm pretty sure you can, can't you? I will say, I uh, I sent my Nintendo 64 uh, to be HDMI modded, uh, have the region lock removed, a few, uh, few other things about it. And, uh, you know, it was expensive, but I don't have significant regrets. Oh, come on! Ugh. So I would encourage you to go for it. Definitely future-proof the system. Stuff by Bogues. Westbrook hits three. So we don't have a lot more points than we had at this point in the game. But a lot more of them are from two-point range. Which is good. I'm feeling much better about our chances tonight. Seven seconds or less. Phoenix Sun style. Nope. Murray. For two. Hits it. There you go. Apparently, Shining Force is still a bit touch to go. Only episode three was released in the States. Well, it's considered excellent. It required a lot of work to make it work without the first two episodes. Yeah, I can, I can see that. We're going to check, see how everybody's doing. Actually, I guess I don't really need to do statistics, because I'm going to give these guys a break. They're starting to get tired. 
this is a lineup that you'll probably see again. The only English language translation of episodes one and two are fan translations, and they're painstaking in their efforts. The video game community is nothing if not happy. Bogus Rust for Murray Pinkney Wright is a winner lineup. Next, try Murdoch. Davis. Ellis. Jones. And Wright looks fast. So everybody needs points. At least of the three people who were trying to score tonight. All right. Good start. All right. That was definitely a block, not a charge. That's okay. Whoa. He was standing much closer to the wrong side of the midline than I expected. Oh, a nice feed. That was a terrible pass. Where was everybody? Come on, Ellis. You're better than this. Dale Ellis actually have so having something of a cold streak the uh, last few games. It's okay, I don't care if they're making them as long as I'm making them. All right, now I care. It's like that inbounds pass just uh, broke our energy. Nice. I mean, I did make three threes right in a row, but I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Down they go. I will try... Er... Stoudemire lineup. Keep Davis in. Back to Murray. Wear him right out. This Murray Pinkney. And Davis. Let's see. So Murray needs. Since he got a two, that throws things off a little bit. But he's going to need. I guess one more three. And then we can get him a second one to be safe. If Malone, Carl Malone has a good game, then he'll need more than 20. But otherwise, he needs 20. And Davis needs 22. Pinkney needs 22. Nice. Think Nate. Take that in. Oh, windmill. That's, cute. That's the greatest. Patron at our buy a bucket here. Thank you ever so much for your support. Wow. That is an inbounds pass we would never be able to pull off. Hey, what's up, DC Kaufman? How are you tonight? Good. Glad to hear it. I think me. Davis. <laughs> I 
Come on. Come on, Pinkney. Stepped out. That's okay. It's the greatest. These things happen. All right, Murphy is looks good. All right, Charlie Ward with another charge. This is great. Pinkney cannot get it to fall. You missed an even more embarrassing brick from Pinkney. So you're up. Nope, whoa. Maybe time for, oh, steal. Try this again. There it is. See how Hubert Davis, the former New York Nick, is doing. So he's only at 15. We need three more threes. Yeah. Pengu needs a bunch. The Knicks should just forfeit. Really did. Brad Lowhouse, that's who it is. No. Alright. That's it for this lineup. They had a good run. Didn't we crush them like four times? Uh, we... That's probably true. I mean, we crushed pretty much everybody. So... The lineup was okay, not great. We might see them again. Go with the lineup we skipped over. Quincy Bogues. Sean Rutherford. Dale Ellis. Ed Pinkney can stay. And Antonio Davis can stay. So Ellis has not gotten on the board yet. Oh. Oh dear. I'm tempted to call timeout again, but we will we'll at least let a real shot go past. Number three with the three. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So Murdoch. Davis come come back. Ellis can stay. Oliver Miller checking in for I think the first time tonight. And Sharon Wright to come back. Ellis and Davis score. Davis at 15, Ellis at 3. The first time we played the Knicks, I actually think it was our worst uh, shooting night of the season up to that point. I think it was the first game where we shot less than 50% from the field for the whole game. Obviously not the case tonight. <laughs> Murdoch mugs him. No easy baskets. Other than that one. Instead of two points, you can have three points. And as we well know here, three points is better than two points. So that's 18 for Davis. Need to keep track. Uh, Rusper uh, got too many. 
past its last time, which didn't end up costing us the record, but it certainly didn't help. A little worried about Ellis's foul uh, trouble, but hey, there we go. Davis, come on, buddy. Put it in the basket. There it is. It's got 21. We just need one more. Get that back. Nice. There we go. Take them out. Let's do this. All set. So we got two players done before halftime. Whoa. You guys did okay too, but we'll uh, we'll set them down. Uh, Murdoch will stay. Davis will stay. Murray will come back in. You do 200 points tonight at this pace. Yeah, and if we do that, then we'll be well on our way. Murray, Popeye Jones, and Oliver Miller. All right, so Popeye needs a bunch. Murray's good. Davis is good. So, yeah, just Popeye. No, we're not quite on pace for 200. It's almost halftime. We're only at 78. We will need to score somewhere around 160, and we are on pace for that, which is good. A wide open lane. Yeah, they have just been uh, not uh, not holding on to the ball. Their uh, their turnovers are killing them. Oh, <laughs> I was just trying to contest the shot. I didn't even mean to do that. Harper again. Jones outruns everybody for a 360 slam. Yeah, celebrate, Papa. You've earned it. Jones again. Maybe you're right, Spitzer Grass. Maybe we will get. Oh, no. Oh, hey. Where's the whistle? Come on, ref. John starts. Ah, not quite.
53, Hubert Davis, 24 points, five big steals. Feels like we're shooting better at 60%. Actually, we're just having so many opportunities. 14 steals. Who won the 93-94 Rookie of the Year award? I have a few guesses. Maybe it was Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist. Chuck Baskin for Thank you. I appreciate it. And 10% of anything I might make tonight goes to the Retina Foundation of the Southwest. Uh, they're doing good work. Uh, please support them. Um, find direct support links in my Twitch profile or my YouTube description uh, for this video. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just a fan of their work. Uh, I feel like I should know this. Might have been Chris Weber. I'm going to go with Chris Weber. This lineup was very solid. Unfortunately, Popeye Jones is the only one who still needs points from it. Murdoch, Davis, Murray, Davis, Miller. I'll mark it down anyway. But we will go back to a lineup that did very well in the first quarter. Those, no, the rest of those Restbert, Murray, Pinkney. And right. So Pinkney still needs some. Murray is all set. Respert needs 21. So he needs Respert needs three more threes. Muggsy needs a bunch. Pinkney needs a bunch. There's a switch grace to think about NFL 2K5. Take some time off, restart on the 360. That could potentially make streaming it easier. Well, it certainly looks better. Oh no, the magic is gone. This lineup dominated early. But they seem to be hapless now. They've completely lost their hap. And not completely. They found some. Don't worry, we're still well on pace. We actually ran 15 different lineups last night. which is by far the most we've run in the playoffs. In a game one against the Magic, we only ran five. But it just took so long to find a lineup that worked. Uh, we only wrote down 13 tonight. Hey, taking it right back. Let's try again. Gotta love the hustle. Sean Respert. Rookie out of Wisconsin, I believe. Respert again. No. Harper decides not to charge the paint. Reason's not entirely clear to me. Muggsy with the steal. Taking it in. That basket purchased for us by Taco and Basket Dortmund under Patron at a buy a bucket tier. Yes, you have definitely earned some time off, but it's the greatest. GM, coach, player. I'm not feeling these guys in the second half. Let's change it up. Presper not quite there yet. So, leave folks, Presper, Murray. Actually, my next line is pretty close to this. Bogues, Rusper, Murray, Pinkney, Miller. You've been playing that franchise since 2009. 11 years of your life. It's like double digit percentage of your life, potentially. Yeah, like you've, uh, you've accomplished it. I know what you mean. There's a part of me that actually has a uh, a fear of completing projects, if that makes sense. Like, because I I enjoy the planning process and the anticipation of it so much that once it's actually done, I just like it's almost like I don't have anything to look forward to anymore. 
So three players are there, four to go. Yeah, Murray's got 20, Rutherford has 21, Davis has 24. So people who are in, Pinkney and Bugsy need more points. Even things like, uh, you know, I keep going back and forth on what I want my ultimate uh, video game setup to be uh, for my family, and I keep changing things. And especially right now, I've been second guessing myself so much. I've been quarantined, and there's not a lot else to do. Oh, looks not a good look. Um, even the uh, the seat on what? Oh, next. Okay. That's still a weird whistle. That's all right. Yeah. Um, the seat that I'm sitting in right now actually came out of a Volvo, um, which I purchased as part of an abandoned project uh, years ago, where I was going to set up a, a bunch of screens, a bunch of uh, TVs. Oh, nice. A bunch of seats and steering wheels and have a, a LAN uh, racing game set up. Uh, mostly for me and my kids, but you know, for hypothetical guests too. Muggsy on a tear. But that didn't, it ended up being more ambitious of a project than what I wanted to do, um, realistically. But you know what? Planning that project out was probably more fun than I would have actually had playing it. If that makes sense. I mean, a lot of my favorite racing games don't even support land. So I don't know. So I don't regret the planning. And certainly these seats are really comfortable. Which is why I kept them around. Yeah, it even feels a little weird to have seen this stream through for as long as I have. My, uh... If I were to turn the camera, you would be able to see the uh, the detritus of uh, many abandoned projects over the years. So in part, I have all of you to thank. You know, keeping me honest with this one. Get that in. Nice. That's okay. And we can maintain a 40-point lead. Muggsy, where are you going? You're our point guard. Oakley tried to shove. Bugsy just steps around him. Like he wasn't even there. Ha! <laughs> if I pretend this now, you'd be upset. I understand. We need to get the ring. I will see it through to the ring. Then we'll see what happens. Oh! Gold ending. How are we doing? He's up to 18. He's almost there. He only needs two more buckets. And Pinkney needs a bunch more. That's okay. Muggsy's a difficult one. I'm actually a little worried about Dale Ellis, of all people. He's been kind of lagging behind in the scoring. Average 40 points per game during the regular season. NBA MVP. I think he feels neglected. Could be. You think he needs a hug? I'd give Dale Ellis a hug. You know, from six feet away. Obviously. Get him ready. Like, you don't understand this now, but in 24 years, you will. Bucks. You know, the guy almost got a quadruple double the other game. I think we can let him have a couple of clunkers.
think. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Triple teaming Anthony Mason. <laughs> you hate him so much. <laughs> There it is. She breaks your heart. Always keeps coming back, though. Alright, Mugsy Bogues got the 22. He is all set. So now we just need 22 for Pinkney, 27 for Jones, and 22 for Ellis. So Ed Pinkney has now become the focal point of our offense. See how this goes. Oof. Where is he? Ed. Ed. Stop standing at the three-point line. Look at how many more attempts we have than them. That's insane. So many turnovers. <laughs> wow. Take me throw this down. Bad pass. Oh no. I thought Muggsy had it. He's trying to throw two pink things. This guy threw a really dangerous pass that worked. And then it should have been a really safe pass that didn't. Alright, Pink, you bring the ball up. Point forward. Here we go. Willie Anderson, who was uh, or supposed to be a Raptor. We did things a little differently. Thank you putting it away. Quarter. Twenty-two more shot attempts in New York. Go with Chris Weber. Chris Weber. There we go. Right, that lineup was good. It's time for them to rest. Yeah, definitely time for some drift. So Bugs rest for another. We need one with Allison Jones. What do we got for Allison Jones? Murdoch rest for Ellis. Jones. And Miller. There we go. We're gonna check to see how many points Jones needs. Ellis needs a bunch. So Jones needs he needs twenty he needs to get to twenty eight. So that's another sixteen points. So there are eight baskets for him. And Ellis needs twenty four. So another six threes for him. And Pinkney, almost there. It's another three or so, so we'll let him rest. This is going to be tight, but it's doable. 
still in the hunt. Piece of it. Ellis, no good. Murdoch Davis Ellis Jones Wright Yeah, Murdoch Davis Ellis Jones Wright Let's see Ugh. Where is it? Jones, get it! Oh. That was a strange play. Also one of the first times we actually ran a play as written. Jones, get it! Take it. And start getting points on the board. Fellas is making shots with this lineup. We'll let him keep making shots with this lineup. Nice. Back in the saddle. That minute and a half might have cost us, though. I also have wondered if some of these players have different hidden ratings that impact their playoffs versus regular season, because certainly people have been uh, playing differently, like tendency-wise. Some of our strongest players in the regular season have been relatively weak in the playoffs and vice versa. Muggsy Bogues has really come into his own. Uh, Hubert Davis had been outperforming Sean Rusbert regular season and it's been rather the opposite in the playoffs. And Tracy Murray has been more consistent than Dale Ellis, which is not something I'm used to. Jones again. He's got 18. He's 27. 28 really. Let these guys go a little bit. They're getting points on the board. Is that Ellis? Nope. Wow. Nice. Ellis is at 15. Man, did you see our coach getting up and yelling? Who's at this point? Jeff Van Gundy? Eighteen for Ellis. In the glass. Nope. Twenty one for Ellis. This needs one more. Jones up to twenty.
Oh, I was not expecting Charlie Ward to block my shot. Hubris. Thought I could shoot over their point guards. Jones. All right, let's check things in. 322 left to play. So Jones is 22. We need three more baskets. Ellis only needs one more three. And Pinkney still needs three. We're in range. Only need seven more baskets in three minutes. I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to pull it off, Spitz the Greatest. Now watch Carl Malone as a monster game, and none of this matters. Whew. I was trying to hit Ellis. Nope. There we go. Ellis is set. Shouldn't have stopped, but it's okay. Jones still needs two more buckets. Do we arrest him? I think so. And Bogues, he's good. Rustberg. Murray. Ed Pinkney. Oliver Miller. So Murray's good. Russell's good. Mugsy's good. I think he needs three more buckets. Getting down to the wire. Five baskets in two minutes now. Pinkney grabs the loose ball, gets blocked by Derek Harper. Rebound Pinkney. Taking it coast to coast. Nicely done. A little shove in there. It's not very nice. that. Ugh. That's so sad. Come on. Come on, Ed. It's all right. Go. One more. Just shoot it, New York.
We're not gonna make it. I don't believe it. We're not gonna make it again. we go. I think that's enough. Now we need a foul and a substitution. And then Popeye Jones needs two baskets in the last 30 seconds. Can be done. Probably won't be done. Papa Jones, Murdoch, Davis. That's okay. Yes. All right. Get the steal. Get the steal. Get the steal. Or let him shoot something. All right. Time out. This is it. Popeye Jones scores another basket, and Carl Malone does not have a monster game. We've done it. No! 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 What? All right. Ah. Uh, the home crowd doesn't understand. Ah. Uh. Maybe Malone will have a crap game. Player of the game, Muggsy Bogues. Been used to seeing that. Once I lock on you on defense, you can't get a jumper off. Indeed. Man, what a good game we've played. Man. We still didn't do it. I can't take this anymore. If we're not all on the leaderboard, we're done. I just can't keep doing this. First, the whole world shuts down. Then we get this close three games in a row. My heart can't take it. Very low on blocks today. Lots of steals, though. This is good ball movement. I'm next. Other thing is, if I let them score too many, then they'll start uh, rivaling me on the leaderboard, too. Fortunately, I think it was Ewing from the Knicks who was up there. And centers are rarely the problem for us. You're out. All right. Thanks for watching, Spitz Grace. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Congratulations again on your, your completion of franchise mode. Look at the shot summary. Quarter by quarter, we're pretty consistent tonight. And Jones had a really good night. Murray had a really good night. Need to put together some sort of tribute video. You do. Now, do you still have access to the franchise? Like, can you still go back and like look at stuff, or like, what what does that mean for your save file at this point? file still there. That's good. Also, now it's letting me save game two. That's weird. Uh, must have been a display bug before or something. Let's see what's happening in the west. Keep up. Nothing. 
need to set the video to end here or something. There you go. Oh, here we go. Moment of truth. Did we do it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We did it. Somebody else dropped off. Oh, you know what? I bet it was Ewing. I bet Patrick Ewing was on this list. And we held him down. We did it, Spitz the Greatest. Even though Jones was there. We did it on a technicality. But we did it. Woo! Check that one off. The bucket list. That is exciting. We did it, Spitz the Greatest. We did it together. Look at that field goal percentage. A couple guys from Orlando. Now we can move on to other goals. Man, this is exciting. I didn't finish my whiskey, I'd bring some more. Cheers. Okay, Rest for Pink Knee. Bogues now up to number four on the block shots leaderboard. Still hanging on to number one for steals. Clinging to the bottom of the leaderboard and assists. And Respert enters. We actually have two people on the assist leaderboard. That happens when you stop player locking, I guess. Oh, man. What an achievement. What a game. We'll save again just to be sure. Save seems a little squirrely in the playoffs. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'm just calling your goggles for free. Come back tomorrow night. We've got game two against these New York Knicks, and we'll be trying something different. Have a good one.